Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update what we got going on. Um, I planted these seeds way too early, let's be honest, uh, probably two weeks ago. Um, they're all doing well. These I don't have under artificial light. Those I do have under artificial light. Those are some Romas, some Amish paste, and some Sweet 100s. These are my peppers. I have Sweet Bell, Cayenne, Serranos, Jalapenos, Cayennes, if I already, I already said Cayennes, um, and California Wonder Bells. Um, what am I feeding? I'm trying to kind of back off on the watering. I do realize that I probably gave them a little too much water at the beginning, um, but I just wanted to make sure that I was doing everything I could. What I'm using as their food, I guess you'd call it, is it's called Organic Neptune Harvest. It's a fish seaweed fertilizer, the 231. Um, Kim recommended me to buy another YouTuber. Um, it's easy. People, some, some people say that it smells like seaweed and like the ocean. It really doesn't smell that bad. Um, they advise that you don't put, put it in the bottom of your trays, that you give it on top of the plant and add a little water and let it soak in. So that's what I did. Um, tomatoes, honestly, have kind of exploded. Um, I mean, those tomatoes were probably half that size last week. Um, and so... Uh, the peppers are doing well. I'm going to try and and uh, prune my peppers this year. I've never done that before. A little nervous about it because, uh, honestly, because I didn't know that that was a thing. Um, so I'm going to give that a try. I know, according to a lot of people, it boosts production. And so I've, that's my reason for giving it a whirl. But, yes, I am terrified of, uh, of pruning them. We're, we're going to give it a try here in a, in a while. Um, give them a few more weeks to get a little bit bigger before we get to do that. But just wanted to give you guys an update on the uh, 2018 pepper and uh, tomato planting. I am going to plant some more. I obviously don't really know where I'm going to plant all these. I've got some five-gallon buckets that I plan on doing some in. Um but other than that, I don't really know. As you can see, I don't have a garden because um, I'm renting because I'm in college. Actually, I'm a master's student. Um, and so we're going to give this a whirl. Um, I might have, you know, bit off a little bit more than I can chew, but um, I don't have a problem with that. Um, you know, one day when I have the property big enough and I can rip up the ground and build a garden and build the soil and stuff like that. I, lo I look forward to that. Um, the ones that I don't use, I can always sell. Um, my subdivision has a Facebook page that I think I'm going to, you know, offer some on. I'm also trading a few for some worm castings. Uh, I got a buddy that's got a whole pallet of worm castings and uh, he offered some worm castings for some seedlings. So I'm going to do that. Um, I might plant some at my parents' place um, because they don't have a garden. And uh, I think they would enjoy having some. Um, I'm going to shoot another video for you guys um, this weekend or next week. Um, when I go ho home for spring break to my parents' place, I'm going to actually set up two strawberry beds for them. They don't know about that, but they're about to learn that. But um, And uh, I will take you guys along for that. My video is a little bit um, less shaky this time because I'm <laughs> balancing my hand, but I appreciate any comments you guys have or any, hell, any criticism. Um, as I said, I'm not an expert. I just like growing stuff. I think gardening is therapeutic for me. And... Uh, you know, in this stressful world that we live in, the any the best the the healthiest way you can find to you know relieve stress, the better. Um, and this is one way I do it. So, thanks for guys for watching on the update. I know it wasn't super exciting, um, but I just want to give you guys an update because I know some of you had watched my previous video on these, and I'm sure you were wondering what happened if I killed them all, which I didn't. 
I actually uh, had a really good germination rate, and that has to go. I mean, that speaks volume to the seeds that I purchased through MI Gardener and uh, Johnny's Seeds, um, both good companies, and both I've never had issues with other seeds. So okay, I'll keep you guys up to date, and hopefully I'll have another video out for you guys soon. Have a great one. God bless. Bye.